Hello everybody! It's Monday again and you know what that means. We got a new mug, we got some new stuff to talk about in the news, and we have a review. News and reviews. If you can see Dobie in the frame, that's because he's ornery and can't sit still. So, we are gonna try something. Are you gonna help? Are you gonna help? Okay, nope. Time to, yeah. Thank you, that's lovely. So today, Today, I've got my Trump mug. I also got this at a yard sale, and it's pink and gold. So who wouldn't want that in their collection? Trump Castle, actually. It's very special. Hi, it's good to see you. Good morning. Please get down. Okay, thank you. Get down. Thank you, kids. So I brewed some coffee in my Sakura Double Walled French Press. I got this on Amazon. And it's the only way to do your coffee. French Press is the best. Make sure your water is at 200 degrees. I have a kettle that makes sure it's at the right temperature because you don't want to burn your coffee. That's the worst thing you could possibly do um, to get all the flavor out of your coffee. So, and it needs to, you have to let it sit at least two minutes, but I like to sit it have it sit a little bit longer. So um, we are drinking Hawaiian Gold Kona coffee. I already threw the thing away. So here's a picture so you can see. Hawaiian Gold Kona. It smells so good, like tropical islands. Here we go. In my sweet mug. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's really rich. It has just a, just a deepness to it and um, earthy, earthy notes that really make you feel like you're on a tropical island. Nice and strong, how I like everything in my mug. You don't even know if there's something else in here. I'm just, Dobie has settled down now, we're good. He didn't want any coffee. New Caramel Silk Almond Creamer, right there. Good stuff, they just started making this. I didn't even know that they had creamer for um, almond milk, which is great, because I like almond milk. So, we're going to try a little bit of that. They have other flavors too, like vanilla, something else. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's very nice. That's nice. You don't even need sugar or anything else, which you should try and cut sugar out of your diet entirely if you can. Obviously, this has some sugar, but you're not putting pure sugar. So, that's good stuff. I highly recommend both of those if you're willing to try something new for your morning your morning drinks in your mugs, whole bean, grind it. It's like five bucks to get a grinder. Trust me, it makes all the difference. And then 200 degrees and a French press. Take a little bit of time with your coffee. It makes a difference, gets you going, I promise. Now for the news. We have some doozies today, let me tell you what. Our first story takes us to Rhode Island. An armored truck carrying cash had its back door pop open and two bags of cash flew, wait, three bags of cash flew out. Two of the bags hit passing cars and they burst open. Hmm. They tried to recover all the money. However, they are missing an estimated $20,500. It's not, I don't know if anyone was surprised about that one. How does the door just pop open on an armored car? This smells like an inside job. Yeah, somebody just put some money in an offshore bank account. Used to work for Brinks, apparently. Our second story comes out of Oregon. Zawadi, the male lion, I'll have to check on that pronunciation. Can somebody ask him? A male lion named Zawadi was entering an exhibit under a hydraulic door. The door shut on his tail while a group of children were watching at the zoo. The lion yelped but the zookeeper just kept on talking. The students were obviously upset and told the zookeeper, his tail is bleeding a lot. He's very, excuse me, like a lot. It's, her is, mm-hmm, he's hurt. Before anyone checked on the lion. Now listen, 
I'm all about keeping a straight face and getting through a performance, but come on. Zawadi needed you. Our next story comes out of the beautiful state of New Jersey. The armpit of America had a wreck on I-287, closing it down. A bread truck collided with a deli meat truck. The cop said, there's no sign of mustard and pickles. They must have had fun with that one all day. Lots of people were reported to help with the accident. Good Samaritans or free lunch seekers. Our next story takes us to Canada, our lovely neighbors to the north. Several businesses were evacuated when a sinkhole opened up near a construction site in Ottawa. The big news, it swallowed a parked minivan. When asked for comment, the sinkhole said, you're welcome. And our top story, bum, ba -da -dum, bum, bum, bum. Denver, Colorado. Amazing, amazing, beautiful state. Apollo Peak, a Denver-based company, makes a drink for cats that looks like wine. If I'm a cat, that's what face I'm making. They use organic catnip, water, and colored beet juice. Pinot Meow and Moscato, just to name a few. Forget the cats, they're going to have a lot of trouble keeping me out of that stuff. Alcohol or not if the shoe fits. Well, that's it for today. I'll put everything we had today in the description for the video below so you can get them and try them. Except my mug. You won't be able to find one of those because I got it at a yard sale. Mm. And tune in next week so that we can go over some more crazy stuff people are doing in the world.